Gentleman thinker. Philosophical concepts explained in brief in a posh English accent. Leibniz's law. Leibniz's law is a principle formulated by Gottfried Leibniz in 1686 that is absolutely crucial to much of philosophy, most notably metaphysics, the branch dedicated to the most fundamental study of what existence is and what might be said to exist. You'll often hear it called the identity of indiscernibles, but before we explore it, we need to understand identity better. Note that here we are not talking about identity in the way that two twins might be identical. That's qualitative identity. No, we're talking about numerical identity, which is to say literally being the same thing as. This is the sort of identity that everything has with itself. So, Arthur Wellesley is Arthur Wellesley. He is identical with himself. In the same way, Arthur Wellesley is identical with Lord Wellington. They are literally the same person. Note that this isn't a matter of science or investigation. We know this must be true just by understanding what the terms mean. So, take Arthur Wellesley. Wellesley is identical with himself, as we know. Let's write that like so, just to make it absolutely clear. So, if Wellesley is 5 foot 9 inches tall on this side, he must be 5 foot 9 inches tall on this side, because really we're just talking about the one person. Everything is identical to itself, so everything must have the same properties as itself as well. And that's what we mean when we say that identical things are indiscernible. So far, we're really just making clear what we already knew, that everything must be the same as itself. But where Leibniz's law becomes really interesting is when we see what follows from it. If all things that are identical have the same properties, then anything with different properties cannot be identical. If Wellesley is 5 foot 9 and some other person is 5 foot 10, then whoever that person is, they certainly can't be Wellesley. Shut up, Wesley. Whenever somebody proposes identity between two things, for instance, thoughts are identical to brain processes, you are identical to your past self, you are identical to versions of yourself in other possible worlds, remember Leibniz's law and think about the puzzles it might raise. Subscribe to Philosophy Tube for more from the gentleman thinker. Till then, cheerio, old chap!